Welcome to the opening a new session tutorial. I look forward to showing you how to do this and get some music going. All right, so what you do is you go to File, you can go New. Now, if you just go New like this, it's going to use one of these defaults automatically, depending on which default you have set, okay? You can also go New Empty, all right? These are a bunch of different uh, templates that I've created as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go new and we're going to go new empty. And you can save this in your documents. You can also save it in an external hard drive. It depends on what your needs are. If you're running a lot of samples on your main hard drive on a virtual uh, synthesizer or sampler, then you might want to open the session on an external hard drive. It really depends, again, on what your setup is. In this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to save it in the Documents folder, and we're going to call this Opening a New Session. Great. So you open a new session. And as you can see, it defaults to have a conductor track if you chose empty. Now, what we can do is also open up a session with a predetermined template. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to close this session, go to File, close opening a new session. Okay. Didn't save anything because we really didn't do anything. So we're going to go New. Okay. And I'm going to choose. Let's see, MIDI and audio. Okay. Okay, we'll call this session one. All right, save it in the same place. All right, now look at that. So we've opened up a new session. Okay, and look at all these audio tracks and MIDI tracks. These ones here are MIDI tracks. There's going to be more on this, of course later because we have specific tutorials for audio and MIDI. Just going to give you a brief look at what you have here. It's the transport window. This is uh, the tracks window, the sequence window, drum window, that's a MIDI window here. Quick scribe, there's a notation associated with your MIDI. Mixing board. Song mode, we don't have this enabled yet. We'll go through that later on. Sound file, this is a great sound file editor. Uh, we'll be able to do all kinds of interesting things with this, uh, whether it's uh, manipulating the pitch, the tempo, the volume of samples. We can quantize audio uh, in this window. It's really useful. And the meter bridge, of course, I can show you something. That's me right there, and that's the input. We can also show the outputs as well, right? Okay, so this is very useful when you're tracking to see if your levels are appropriately set, depending on what your needs are, of course, okay? All right, so we've created a new session, and that's the end of this tutorial. The next tutorial, we're going to deal with adding new tracks and what kind of features are available to us when we decide to do that. Now, one more thing I want to show you, though, just before we end here, Let's just say, all right, I want to delete these tracks. Okay, so you go to Project, and we delete these tracks. And I want this to be my new template, okay? So we go Save as Template. And as you can see, we can type the name uh, we'll just call this MIDI and Audio 2. Press OK. So, uh, thank you very much for attending today, and we'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.